The USA, the confrontation between Texas and Washington, another brick in the civil war in the United States of America, and the imminent Texit that is looming ahead. And also the obvious crisis of Biden's democratic power vertical. How did a country that proclaimed itself a symbol of freedom become vulnerable to the flow of illegal migration? And does the independence of the state shine like a lonely star? Let's consider all the political elements and put them in their places. This is the table of Mendeleev. Hello, the political divorce of the blues and the reds, accusing Biden of treason, and the desire of Texas to live separately from the rest of the United States. The events unfolding in the USA resemble the plot of a hot Mexican TV series that crosses all boundaries, literally. It is not surprising because only in December, two and 25,000 migrants arrived in the United States of America from Mexico. Here are Americans they assimilated. Our government. Our gov doesn't care about it. Biden is literally committing treason by not protecting our sovereign state. Therefore, we must take matters into our own hands and protest. The situation of ignoring internal problems for the United States is not new, as well as illegal migration. However, Texas authorities' patience has expired, and they've chosen to handle this problem independently. The State National Guard has installed barbed wire. The Supreme Court of the United States has decided to dismantle the fence, but the governor in response declared a state of invasion, granting the authority to nullify federal laws in favor of state laws. Abbott was ordered to extend more barbed wire and send more soldiers to the border in response to the situation at hand. And also made a series of statements hinting at the possibility of Texas leaving the United States. Emergency situation, even a video went viral on TikTok, what state will Texas be if it becomes independent? Texas, connecting the USA with the South, North, and North, also connects with Mexico to the North, a home for over 30 million people. This will be the 51st most popular country in the world. And according to a survey, the majority of Americans support the construction of barriers on the border between the state and Mexico. 69% of respondents expressed approval of the policies implemented by the current government. Texite getting closer? In the case of truckers, on January 29th, the car rally Return Our Border started. A convoy of truckers calling themselves the Army of God headed for the southern border of the state. We express support for Texas. Most states support Texas. We stand against lawlessness in our country. We are already worn out by the Biden administration, and we are defending our country as patriots who love their nation. A Texan volunteer recorded his appeal in the region of Donbass. This is good advice. Do not tamper with Texas. Do not play with us. Texans will engage in combat. And in case this occurs, we can triumph, just like the people of Donbass did in their struggle for victory. This will be a lesson for Texas. Trump made a promise to carry out the largest deportation in American history if he wins the upcoming presidential election, emphasizing its significance and scale. We do not have any choice because it is simply impossible to tolerate it any longer. In support of the governor's actions to independently protect the border area, the attorneys general of 26 Republican states have spoken out. Allow me to express my gratitude to my fellow governors. Half of the United States is currently speaking out against the Biden administration. And more than the majority of prosecutors across the entire country, Biden does not oppose Texas. Biden against the USA. This is what happens when you violate personal boundaries. No specific steps to resolve the issue have been proposed at the White House so far. The crisis is growing and turning into a weapon of mass destruction for the country.